Alyssa, thank you. We've got the matchup of the day on the SEC Network inside Coleman Coliseum. Five of the league's top ten scores on the court tonight as Arkansas battles Alabama in a pivotal SEC matchup. Alex Reese for three to get it started. So Isaiah Joe got free for a moment. His first look is off the mark. Another three ball down, this time Jaden Shackelford. 8-0 Bama, timeout Arkansas. Now he's going to get open. He'll take about 11 threes per game. The man who's been defending him, Shackelford for two. Timeout, Arkansas, again. That has completely changed, and he is a huge key to this Alabama team. A junior from Pelham, Alabama. And so Sills has Arkansas on the board right. before he had any experience as a college assistant or head coach. Jones with his first basket. It was the Hurleys that helped him break into the college basketball world. Of course, Danny Hurley, the head coach at UConn, is a good friend of Nate Oates. His brother, Bobby, recruited a bunch of his players at Romulus High, eventually hired him when Bobby got the job at Buffalo. A couple of years later, Nate Oates takes over his first head coaching job, and he led the Bulls to unprecedented success. Harris with a rare score near the rim. And this all Russell begins with Mayhew Jones. Two Jones timeouts before we hit our first media timeout. There he is again. Johnny on the spot. And all of a sudden, it's Look, six nothing run out of the brick. Arkansas being so thin. Already plus four. Inside the paint, the rebounding advantage, and the advantage this time to Galen Smith on the jam. Jimmy Witt to the 10 for two. Be in there as well, given his team success and his clutch performances that continue to have LSU just running away in the league right now with Kentucky trying to catch him. LSU beat Ole Miss. They continue to beat the computers. That's well, right, according yeah. to Will Wade, and lost to LSU on Wednesday. We need to get our mental toughness back to where it needs to be at a higher level. Oh, Witt realized, whoa, I'm wide open. But all they got to do is look at Kentucky, who had a scare in Rupp Arena against the winless Commodore club. Jones, and that one for three. I like that. I thought he was too up from, from the doghouse to the starting lineup. This guy has come in and affected the game on the defensive end, gives them a rim protector. And even on the other end, when he has the turnover, it was a, it was a hump. The SEC scoring leader tried to pass it there. Might have just taken a shot. It would have been a better look. And in transition, Shackelford with another. Nato has taught some statistics classes when he was a pre professor at one of the University of Wisconsin satellite campuses. I was back in the 2000s. And he said, yeah, I, I just found a way to kind of break down the numbers differently. And he decided when he was still at, at Romulus High in Detroit, no, this is the way we're going to do it. He stuck with that philosophy for the longest of times. I don't know if I would have lasted in his stats class. Jones, another basket, and Arkansas takes a lead. It was down 14 to Completely three. And it start Adriel Bailey checks in for Isaiah Joe after Coach Musselman shook his head after that last defensive breakdown. See how his minutes go throughout this game. Look at the Razorbacks run, and Nate Oates needs that timeout. Alabama's known as that supersonic, fast-paced team. They it's all Arkansas. They willed their way to win, typically starting with the defensive side of the ball. And there it is again. Wow, another steal. There goes Jones. The he can go chase a couple of those down, block it, and let that turnover lead to another basket. Shackelford, a little cold after a hot start. This is Reese. My basketball. Reese. Oh. Lost it. Witt. And Arkansas back ahead. Uh, I don't know the exact amount, but i got to think they've got at least 12 to 14 points of just uncontested layups. It is 12 fast break, 14 fast break points, and I believe all of those are just at the rim, no defender around, no shot blocker. Patty for three. 
Shackelford with the 11, make it 13, maybe one more. Oh. lead to the break. Jones, step back. Mason Jones. At the horn. Foreign lead so play. close. Musselman and Oates have their team's position for the NCAA tournament. And then when you have an All-American like Jerry Stackhouse at the helmet, like baby, he is not look out. 100% healthy. And he is one of their best defenders as well. Oh, what a stuff from Cheney. Well, Joe went 0 of 3 from the field in the first half. No points. That right knee injury missed the TCU win last Saturday. And it's February in college basketball. Everybody is slightly wounded, if you will. Shackelford. Jones splits a pair. Jimmy Witt for two. That is nice foul. Not only points and assists per game. Rebounds, steals per game as well. Paul, oh, he is having a night. Jaden Shackelford. Jones with the response. Mason Jones gets free. Mason Jones for three. Jimmy Witt got it. There it is. Been waiting for that because guys are playing off him a little bit more than I would expect. And, and Forbes has to realize he's setting himself for the pull-up jumper there when you're guarding the master. Shackelford answers right back. And a poor closeout by Witt. Trying to snap that skid today. Lewis, that's good. And that's a shot he's going to have to make. A floater, a little bit of a pull-up game because teams know he's trying to get all the way to the rim with that speed. Oh, of three for the field the first half. He said his only two looks in the second. Witt, another make. 53% the field. Arkansas just a shade under 50. Jones, long three, puts it in. Goodness. It's One point I'll take, game. I'll take a shot. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble with too much Auburn conversation during this <laughs> Alabama game. But, Witt uh, scores. <laughs> and the Hogs retake the lead. Alabama led by eight earlier in this half for a second time today. Arkansas races a big deficit. And Alex Reese, he gets Arkansas the crowd nice right. job denying the entry. Now, just a no-pass possession. Not what Alabama wants there. Now Jones bursting <laughs> into the lane. Up there? A little counting pros, Puff Daddy, and one Christopher Wallace. Oh, Biggie yes. played at one time. Only at 90s night in Sycoma Coliseum. Count the basket for Cheney. It He's has erased an eight-point deficit here in the second half. Takes its largest lead. And let's see if it builds on it. Cheney again, the follow with this time, has it to a seven-point lead. Chance. Lewis for three, Shackelford with another offensive rebound. Let's see if he takes it, he wants it, and he got it! Looks today. Arkansas trying to win its sixth straight over Alabama. Petty New is offline, he got the rebound, and he got two! Kyra Lewis stops, shoots, Smith the board. Petty. Reese kicks it in. It's an 8 nothing Alabama. Witt silences the crowd. And that's where He's you so may be bigger. They know they're going to Mason Jones at the end of this. But it's just how can we kill a little bit of clock first? Harris. Hits the three. Yes. You got to pull up here, Whit. Fades again. That one rattles home. Seven-point lead for With the Razorbacks. With the winning mentality, clutch plays. No matter who's out due to injury, how short their bench is, this team has a sensational will to win about them. For the fourth time in a month and a half, Arkansas erases a second-half deficit, wins away from home, 
Texas won 82-78 over Alabama.